Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. This is your next lesson called round numbers. We've done this already this year, but remember we're in fourth grade math now. So we are rounding larger numbers. So here is our essential question. How can you round numbers? What you learned at the beginning of third grade is the same thing that you're going to use and apply now, just with bigger numbers. You can do this. Let's unlock the problem together. During May 2008, the Mount Rushmore National Monument in South Dakota welcomed 138,202 visitors. A website reported that about 100,000 people visited the park during that month. Was the estimate reasonable? Remember that an estimate tells you about how many or about how much. It is close to an exact amount. You can round a number to find an estimate. So let's underline what we're asked to find. What are we asked to find? We're being asked to find that it was the estimate reasonable. Circle the information that we're going to use. We're going to use the fact that there were 138,202 visitors and that they had rounded about 100,000 people. That's the information we're going to use. One way we can do this is to use a number line to round 138,202 to the nearest 100,000. To round a number to the nearest 100,000, find the 100,000 that it is between. So we would find out what 100,000 this number is between. So here's the number line. We're going to use this number line to see which 100,000 138,202 is closest to. So there's 138,202, but we don't know what these numbers are right here. What is the 100,000 that is less than 138,000? Good, 100,000, right? What's the 100,000 that is greater than 138,000? 200,000. Good. What's the halfway point between 100,000 and 200,000? I hear you. 150,000. Awesome. So we can see that we have 138,202 is less than halfway. It is closer to the 100,000 Then the 200,000, so 100,000 is a reasonable estimate for 138,202 because it's closer to 100,000 than it is to 200,000, so that's reasonable. We can also use place value. Mount Rushmore is located 5,725 feet above sea level. About, I'm going to underline that word because that tells me to estimate, about how high is Mount Rushmore above sea level to the nearest thousand feet. That helps me too because then I know which place I'm rounding to. To round a number to the nearest thousand, find the thousands it is between. So 5,000 725 is between what thousand? What's the thousand less than 5,000? The 5,000. Good. And what's the thousand above 5,725? Good. I heard you say 6,000. Now we look at the digit in the place value position to the right. So this is what I always tell you. Underline the place that you're rounding to. You're rounding to the thousands. Then draw an arrow to its neighbor on the right. This digit tells you what to do. The seven is closer to a 10, so it tells you to round up. Five rounding up rounds to six. So Mount Rushmore is about 6,000 feet above sea level. 
Everybody agree? Good, good job. Let's look at a couple more. Round to the place value of the underlined digit. So we're rounding to the ten thousands. We're going to draw a line to our thousand number, our digit to the right. That tells us what to do. What does four tell the six to do? To stay put, right? So this rounds to 60,000. 64,999 is closer to 60,000 than 70,000. All right, now we have a 100,000 number, 850,000. We're rounding to the nearest 100,000. We draw an arrow to the digit on the right, which is the five. The rule is five or higher rounds up, less than five rounds down. So the five tells the eight to grow up. The eight grows up into a nine. And then you put zeros in the other places. 850,000 is closer to 900,000. Let's do one more. 10,832. We're rounding to the 10,000 place. We're looking to the digit on the right to tell us what to do. Well, zero tells the one to stay put. So 10,832 is closer to 10,000 than it is to 20,000. It rounds to 10,000. All right, boys and girls, that's it. I told you it's not difficult at all. You did it at the beginning of third grade with tens and hundreds, and now you're rounding numbers up to the hundred thousands. As long as you know the skill, you can apply it to these larger numbers. All right, boys and girls, go on and do your discussion board tonight, and I will see you in class tomorrow. Bye.